Hello and welcome to Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to take on the quest Underworld and outline how we can understand what's happening at the strange ceremony and more importantly, uncover Fidelio's identity. There's a mystery afoot here in football and we're going to get to the bottom of this. Now I'm going to speed through and explain the different interactions you can have that will open up different options you can make but effectively the goal here is to fill out both these finding out what's happening in the street ceremony as well as uncovering Fidelio's identity so I'm going to walk through what you need to do I'm going to try to speed through some of the dialogue to leave some mystery so this is a quest in footfall I will note this game is early access in the alpha version so this could be subject to change but it's, about it's as the game stands today, sitting in December 2022. So first off, we are in Footfall Atrium. We're kind of in the southern part, uh, southeast part. And when we arrive here, we're met by the chaplain and a few others um, who kind of gave a speech about Bellardo. So it looks like this is his coffin. Abelard notices him. If you pass your Imperial check, you'll see that he was a wealthy uh, individual and then Abelard will tell you who he is and some of his past so we're gonna just click through this and that's the first thing we're gonna do now once we do that just so we're tracking um, it keeps changing you can see that we start filling out information on both of these as we progress. We're going to run down here. Book of Remembrance. So the world repentance could have a connection to the Fidelio mystery. So that's an interesting interaction. Now you might not notice this. If you hold down tab, you'll see here um, there's a few awareness checks. So we're going to come down here first and look at this. This is going to um, do we not pass the awareness check we did not pass the awareness check here well if you check that out you will find it is poison if you pass it we apparently failed the awareness check to realize it's poison if you hold down tab up here there's a girl and you can actually talk to her um, so this is actually helpful she's gonna give you some background um, she's the granddaughter of the deceased. I'll leave it at that. Uh, but that'll yield some good information shall stand in my way. about the situation. Now, we're going to talk to the chaplain. He is going to provide some context. Now, you have a choice here. I recommend you use persuasion to lie. And assuming you pass the check, it's going to open up these dialogue options. So, you can learn a little more, you can actually click through all these, it shouldn't have an impact. The only one that will have an impact is if you decide to attack them. So I recommend that you wait to attack them, you will have later opportunities to attack them if you want. Um, I would kind of go through it here, you can see here, we can discuss with him, make some statements. We're going to take our time because we want to talk to more people. So I recommend running down here next. Talking to first mate Dagon. You never introduce yourself. Gaining some information. You can kind of click through all this except the attack button. Once you click the attack button, you engage in combat. And you cannot, well, um, you cannot finish the quest. In its proper, well, I mean, you can... You can make a decision, that's part of the game, uh, to kill them. Now, there is additional people to talk to. Cas Pilardo, he's the son. You're going to want to talk to him. Get some background. Just don't click attack yet. We're trying to figure out what they want. So we're going to thank them, and fantastic. Okay, so right now we have talked to everyone of obvious nature. So to review, 
We have the girl up here, the chaplain, first mate Dagon, and the son Caspilardo. At this point, we have enough information to run over here to the chaplain. Now, if we look at our quest here, Underworld, um, we're going to have to make some educated guesses. So, to summarize, effectively, we learned that there's this repentance that keeps showing up around the house. We don't think it's necessarily um, a Psyker event. So, that must mean that someone's writing repentance everywhere, and we assume that's Fidelio. So, we're going to talk to the chaplain again. And the other component we have going on here is Velardo actually left his inheritance and his will to this Fidelio character. So we're trying to figure out who Fidelio is and what's going on. So at this point, we've understand we figured out that this funeral is highly charged. People are armed because they're trying to figure out who Fidelio is and why this Fidelio character gets the inheritance from Velardo, who happened to be a pirate. So we have two options now that we've talked to everyone. We can call the parties involved and discuss the matter of the will. We want to hold off on doing that if you want to complete the Fidelio part and identify it. So I would like to discuss what I've been able to uncover in regard to the mysterious Fidelio. So Dens mentioned Fidelio and repentance. I think I might know the answer. So I would say you want to pick three. It could be a name, the name of a ship, for example. And then the chaplain's going to reveal uh, some information about a woman, a captain, and an event that happened on repentance. Um, Alright, so we're just going to kind of click through all this stuff. All this stuff shouldn't matter all that much. Um, I would keep talking to the chaplain to go over all the information. And effectively, what we've learned now, we open this journal. It's a little more difficult than I thought. Um, uncover Fidelio's identity. At this point, we have a bunch of information based off all the, the things we just did, right? We interacted with the coffin, we looked at the shrine or offering whatever that is talk to the kid talk to the chaplain talk to Dagon talk to Caspilardio came back to the chaplain to kind of review what we know and effectively what we've concluded is someone wrote Fidelio over here recently and that means they must be in this party now the chaplain has stated that he knows all of the ceremony guests so that means that there is someone the here who must be working and is not a guest. And that is the servitor over here. So this is the big reveal. When you click on the servitor, we can do a couple of things. We can say, are you Fidelio or Repentance? I recommend clicking on Repentance because we're gonna see some weird movements, some jarring, some weirdness going on. And now you figured out that something's afoot and through clicking through this, we identify that indeed the servitor is the remnants of the captain of the repentance. And now we have the issue of inheritance. So we can determine can the servitor even inherit um, and then summon everybody. When we summon everyone, this kind of concludes it and it gives you options. Um, over here. So you have the option, who among you knows this woman, um, to learn more. Here you can determine who will re uh, receive the inheritance. So if you point to the servitor, we're going to go with this, we're going to learn a little bit more. And that will actually unlock some other options. So for the servitor, we can enter, we can sad with her and kill everyone else, or we could say, just let everyone live in peace, or just say, that's all I have to say. So we're going to pick this option, because then, once we do that, we can make the decision to basically 
take all of his money. We can give it to Cas Pilardo, or we can give it to a Dagon, Dunza's mate. So if we decide to confiscate his fortune in its entirety, we'll complete the mission. There we have it. Underworld. Find out what's happening at the ceremony. Um, uncover Fidelio's identity. Settle the Interrogant's question. And we did just that. So we have completed Underworld. There are multiple ways to complete this. The only way, though, you, ha you have to wait to attack if you want to get the Fidelio's identity component to it from that perspective. And I'm just kind of curious here, in confiscating his wealth, it actually didn't impact anything to my knowledge, so that might not be the best option. You can make a decision to attack, which will then enter into combat. It's a relatively difficult fight depending on your positioning, so I do recommend you position your characters um, advantageously. I would recommend stacking them up here by the chaplain so you can burn down the chaplain and then there are going to be enemies coming at you. You're going to have the elevation and the cover to hide behind so you can kind of shoot them down as they attack you. So if you decide to attack, make sure you position your characters and then you can take one to kind of talk it out and trigger that. So hopefully you found this video helpful. That is how you complete the Underworld and Footfall in the early access version of Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader. Thanks for watching, Shadow Coast Out.